So I'm gonna make this video for you guys. Uh, today is the first, and uh, just got up. Pretty excited about what I just bought. I kind of wanted to make a video explaining why uh, I went with this instead of my old setup and and what the differences are. Um, you know, nothing special. Just kind of give you guys an overview of what a quarter horse is uh, and, and and the sophomore stuff like that. This is an older video that I have of uh, me tuning my vehicle with the same software but a 2010 version and a chip and a burner and basically if you watch this video you can kind of get a view of how it was done but the bad thing about it was is I couldn't make any adjustments on the fly as the car was running so and I couldn't data log so I bought this which is called a quarter horse and you can go to modes.net and look it up and basically this is the most advanced thing you can do basically on a Mustang so what this does instead of that chip I had is, is this is a new chip plugs into the J3 port on the computer. This allows you to plug this cable into that so you don't have to no more pulling chips out and then you just plug this or mount this anywhere into the dash you'd like and you can plug in your laptop anytime you'd want and make full-time adjustments to the vehicle. So no more chip and burner, anything like that. This is the quarter horse, this is what it looks like. Basically um, that's where the, the uh, micro USB would plug in and uh, that's goes into the J3 port and so let me kind of put this on the side for a second and show you guys the new this this video basically tells you how I did it and and I got the car to run really well just not perfect so this is the dashboard one and like I said this is just a quick video I'll do more later and show you guys way more cool interesting stuff with this but you can see everything it does load horsepower torque on the flywheel kilograms an hour on your fuel volts axe sensor ECT sensor which is important um, you know injector pulse width spark which is also the you know air to fuel and spark are the two main things you want miles per gallon which is pretty cool if you go to back dashboard 2 it'll show you exact how much boost your car is making spark battery mile per hour you know stuff like that uh, you know the air temp sensors are huge on supercharged cars uh, you can data log, which is amazing. It won't let me do that just because I don't have the, the uh, license right this second because the older 2010 version I was running was kind of a, a hack where because I was only doing a chip and burner, I didn't have to have a, a license for it. But now that I have the quarter horse, you have to have the license to data log. And because I upgraded to Windows 8, it erased 2010, and I couldn't download it anywhere anymore because I'm an idiot. So basically, uh, yeah, I'm going to be spending $100 on the software. You guys got me. No matter what, I needed it anyways because I couldn't data log without the software. So it wasn't that they got me, I just needed to have it. So you can basically go in here and you can write it and it'll data log all your shit, tell you exactly what is going on with this car. That way you can go in and make adjustments while the car's running. It's the baddest thing ever. Um, so no more chip uh, and burner. It's going to be the quarter horse. It's same company, same stuff. It just gives you way more detailed. Uh, tuning on the fly, like I said, why the car's running. And I will do more videos in depth of all this crap and show you guys, excuse me, all the cool stuff it does. And, and I'll go in here and you can do drag strip and, and uh, you know, it'll, it'll do so much cool stuff, man. It's ridiculous. And so this is how you tune a 95 or 87 or 89. Uh, 88, 87 speed density, I believe you can tune also all the way up to uh, 04. So pretty cool software. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Not a real cool video, just something quick little update showing you guys I got the quarter horse and what it does and why it's better. And keep in mind, I make these videos not to, you know, be the coolest guy or whatever and, and, and make these awesome uh, videos and make money or whatever. I do them just for fun, you know, for inspiration. When I when I first built or, or you know bought my Mustang, I used to go on YouTube and look at people's videos and go, damn, I wish I had that done to my car and, and I wish I did this. And so, you know, watching these videos, people, you know, they like watching this stuff and learning and, and you know, seeing what they could do to their cars and make them this cool. And so, yeah, I did the interior swap, motor, heads cam. You know, I've done a lot of stuff to the car, but, you know, tuning is the most important thing. If you don't get the cars tuned right, it doesn't matter what you've done to it because it won't run right, and uh, it'll run like shit, and you'll never be happy with it. So quarter horse is the way to go. It's the most sophisticated high-tech tuning data logging on the market right now, better than the uh, tweaker um, or anything like that. So going with the quarter horse, I'm super excited. Just going to do an update video. I'll short and sweet, but... Um, let me know what you guys think, 
And uh, yeah, this is going to be an older video of showing you how I tune the car with the air to fuel gauge. It'll be kind of the same way now. I'll still have the wide band in the car for driving around, but now how it's going to be hooked up is through my EGR, and that'll give me a voltage range. So basically, I will know exactly how to tune this car, and I can basically data log it, send an email to my tuner. He'll send me back a tune, and it's done. Car's perfect, and I can always add more fuel or timing down the road, depending on boost. So let me know what you guys think. If you're wondering what the setup is, it's a Sony uh, TV, which is not, obviously, a uh, computer screen. And I use the Klipsch 2.1 surround, which I freaking love. My surround sound is fucking amazing, but I will go into that later. But, yeah, so this is it. Uh, Motes. Quarter horse, if you guys are interested, go to moats.net. I would definitely recommend visiting Willie at dirtydirtyracing.com. The guy's super awesome. Um, you know, he's been really patient with me, even though I asked him a million questions. And uh, sometimes his replies are really slow, and you can tell he's irritated, but he still does it. And, uh, you know, he's a, he's a nice guy. So go to dirtydirtyracing.com if you guys are interested in buying the quarter horse. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later.